Let's go to Larry with a cowboy look at saddle bronc riding. Chet Johnson is a three times qualifier for the national finals rodeo saddle bronc rider from Gillette, Wyoming. Now that's cowboy country. Explain that first rule. The first rule is the mark out rule. When the horse's front feet uh, hit the ground, first jump out, your feet have to be set above the horse's shoulders uh, for one jump or you get a no score. So you measure your rein before you climb over the chute and down onto the horse. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the last step before you actually set, set a foot on the horse. So you let them know you're coming, slide in, get a leg on each side, grab each stirrup. Now you put your foot all the way into the stirrup, right up to the heel of the boot. Yeah, that's, it's very important to have them stirrups on or you'll, you'll eat, be eating dirt pretty fast. This is your only constant contact point really during the ride is your stirrups and against your swells. There's binds in here that when you pull your foot back, it pushes your leg into that swell. How important is it for you to have this saddle feel absolutely perfect? Oh, it's, it's essential because there's so many little tweakings on it and they say a, a quarter inch in the, in the Bronx saddle is like a mile, so you, you want to be pretty close on everything. What do you do with the rein hand but just before you nod your head? Just before you nod, you pick up on it, because this is your leverage point. This is what's going to keep you down in your saddle. So you lift up on it and get ready, ready for him to turn out. What's going through your mind at this point? When you get to this point and you're ready to nod your head, what's going on? For me, I kind of just, all I'm thinking about is a good spur out and to get out as fast as I can. This is the most dangerous spot in the arena is in here. So you're just trying to get out as fast as you can and thinking about that spur out.